Hi everyone, it's Neil here from ECS Coffee along with my good friend, Wendy. Welcome Hi, how's it going? back everyone. <laughs> and today, because we know everyone's asked us to do this video, okay, one person asked us to do this video, but it's a good video to do. We're gonna do a, a, a comparison video between the DeLonghi's Prestigio and the Breville Barista Express Impress, which is their new launch in 2022 in Canada uh, because they're in a similar price point and mm. they're both kind of, you kind of look very similar too. They both they have similarities, have but um, also a few differences we wanted to point out. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. overall aesthetics, uh, you can kind of see they look the same. Uh, Jack, if you can put up the dimensions on here, you will notice the DeLonghi is a little bit larger um, than the Breville. Uh, the tanks are both in the back. Bean hopper sits a bit higher on the DeLonghi. I'm not mm -hmm. sure of the grams in this one. Do you recall how many grams are in this one? Uh, I Let's don't. See, see how good no. your math is on that. No. I anyway, don't there's so many, there's this many grams. There's this many grams. Put the number in there in the DeLonghi. And there's this many grams in the Breville. I think it's 250. Yeah. I think it's 250. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we, have a, we have a lot of machines we have to know. So um, yeah, forgive us for not, not having that information top of hand. But what happened was DeLonghi a couple years ago came out with um, the La Specialista and then they, they kind of made some, some improvements to it under different mm. models. And the big deal was this little handle here, uh, which kind of set them apart. And that's the tamping handle for after you um, grind your beans, because you grind it on top. Breville's Barista Express Impress, not to, be ex not to be confused with the Breville Barista Express. Try to say that again. Um, has a handle also. That's the, the new thing here. So <laughs> I know I, I can't I can't say these words. Yeah, over no, it's awesome. No, so, you're good. Uh, good. We, I, we know I know Wendy loves the Breville more. Yes. Bre Breville, Wendy. Yeah. They have a thing. Uh, well, it's because I have this. Seven. Well, yeah. Some I have more. Breville at home. Yes. Uh, it's familiarity. That's true. Um, DeLonghi has a two plus one year warranty. So it Which does is have, big. Yeah, so it's, it does, the only does have a slightly better warranty. Mm -hmm. um, and they both make good coffee. But let's talk about, we're not going to go into a full depth analysis of each machine because you can watch reviews on these guys. We have full reviews on our channel. So if you want to look at those up, you can kind of see every single feature. But let's talk about the main differences and, mm. and why you would prefer one over the other and who this is for. So yeah. aesthetically the same, size wise different slightly. What do we got when it comes to features? Then we'll make a couple shots. So yeah, but before we go into the shots, I really um, was confused at first when they came out with this because I'm so used to the Breville Burst Express and it was it just made so much sense to me and their manual is so fantastic that I, I couldn't figure out what the added benefit of this was until I started using it and started demonstrating it to customers who haven't had years of experience with tamping on their own. Okay. So what this takes away and what they've done a fantastic job on is when you're grinding and you tamp it actually tells you if you don't have enough coffee. Before that, you would have had to tamp it and have a look and you'd be guessing, you'd be weighing it to see if that's one of your variables, whether there's enough to get a good shot. But when you press down the handle, if there's not enough, it will come up with a light and tell you you don't have enough. So you just hit dose again. It doses the extra that you need and then your tamp's gonna be perfect and it's gonna be le not just level, it's gonna be the perfect amount without guessing which is, and weighing. Which is, which is unique to yeah. Breville versus DeLonghi. Right. It's essentially, there's no, get, there's no, there's no guesswork involved. Right. You, you don't, it'll do the work for you. It, it'll, it'll solve its problem if it doesn't have enough. And it polishes. And then when the, the handle yeah. comes down on a Breville, it doesn't just tamp it perfectly, mm -hmm. it polishes, it's got a slight twist to it, which yeah. you can kind of take off and see. Um, so it's going to spin got, around. This is just a cover. Um, it yeah. kind of spins. As you, you can kind of yeah. see it there. It spins down, pushes, and it just twists at the end, So, it, which right. is kind of neat. Now, mm -hmm. DeLonghi actually, I don't want to say they invented the technology, but DeLonghi actually had this out beforehand, um, and theirs does do the same thing. They have right. a handle that comes down, but it doesn't polish. Right. It also doesn't have the, um, the we'll call it artificial intelligence, <laughs> the sensors. I like to call it AI because I like to be fancy, yeah. that the Breville does. You like to be wrong. I know, wow. camera guy with your techie words. Yeah. But yeah, it's not AI, but to me it's smart and I didn't do it. And then there's other people who say, well, why do you need um, a built-in tamper? Why? Uh, so you need a built-in tamper because it's one of the biggest variables when getting a good shot is having it nice and even. You may think you have it nice and even. So when you're pushing out with it, yeah. yeah, when you're pushing down. So if you don't want to have a level or tamper or you don't want to be guessing here and there a few degrees, then it's already built in and it just takes that off the table for you figuring out why your shot's not perfect. Yeah, because your yeah. shot's supposed to look like honey 
coming out or yep. a rat's tail when it comes out of the porter filter mm -hmm. uh, and that's very hard you you have to dial in these machines a lot of people buy them thinking that you right out of the box you can just make an espresso like you're a barista i always say it's kind of like an oven um, you can have the best hundred thousand dollar oven at home but if you don't know how to cook you're on your own you can't blame the oven the same thing with espresso machines, particularly the, the manuals and porta filters. You need to learn the recipe of making a really good shot. Mm -hmm. And it does require, we spent, what, about 10 minutes dialing in uh, these machines before we got started in this video right. because we were getting lousy shots out of them. So Yeah, it does and we changed beans mid-grind. Mid, uh, yeah. mid yeah, so that, that's going to do that. Right. So let's, what do we like about the DeLonghi? Let's talk about what, what we like about it. Um, so they have a program under the My Coffee. Yeah. Um, so if you program it, it start and st uh, you start and then you stop the shot uh, as you're programming it in. So you can get up in the morning, and if you have a few people in the house, you can turn it to Americano, hit the My Coffee button, and it's set up for you. Set up for um, your own, your own it, Yeah, it's just, for, at that one, it's just the amount of water. And they do have a separate spout, you'll see mm -hmm. here, for Americano. And you don't have to move the cup. Yeah, so your Americano, you don't have to move your cup if you like that in the morning. Good for the yes. tall cups of coffee. It also has this nice, neat little... It has a shelf, shelf which the yeah. other one doesn't. Okay. Yep. Um, and it's got the hot, the tea button for the hot water, which comes out of the separate spot as well. Right. Um, so you don't have to use your wand for that, which is kind of right. nice. This uh, one you're not using the wand either. It's separate. It's separate. The water's yeah. separate. Okay. Yeah. And you've got your temperature, temperature. your dose, con dose level, and your times two button, which is... Double the water. Double the water. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your gauge to tell your pressure. Yeah, both of them have the gauge. Uh, and just uh, be mindful if you get either of these machines that anywhere in the... The range where it says espresso range here, it's it's a big wide gray area. Don't think it has to go all the way. Right, straight north. Same in this one, it's optimal zone. Right, the optimal zone on, in so that one. We have eight settings for the grinder. That only eight. In this, we have twenty-five. Twenty-five. So, and, and I know you like that. Why is that important to have that uh, more settings? Do you think that's do you think that's a bit of a miss for Delonghi? I th I I believe it is okay. um, because you are full click. Um, and you get a big wide range within that one click. Whereas this one has more, so it's more of a micro adjustment. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. Okay, and from a steam wand perspective? Uh, I like, uh, both of them have the same amount of power, but the only issue, if you see is more like a ball and socket joint in this one, is free flowing. I, I, it doesn't maybe come it's out because, as, yeah, it doesn't The angle's come out, a little lower the here, angle, The angle is lower and it's, it's harder for me Okay. To adjust. That's well, all. you know, and I can see that because if I have a if I have a pitcher and I don't have one handy right with me, but if I had a pitcher getting out and under here, it's going to be a little easier to do it this right. way, right? So maybe yeah. you know, and that could just be. Uh, I think they wanted to make it longer so they could do a bigger pitcher. So okay. I understand that. that. Makes sense. But it's it's not that free flowing ball and socket joint in that one. So let's talk about what we, what what the the Breville Barista Express Impress, Impress. Impress has. Right. Now remember, you can still find the Barista Express, so it's not that one, it's the Impress model. Mm -hmm. So what do we have over here that we like, that, that, that it would be unique to that? It's, it's not a, the unique feature most of all is the tamper leveler. Okay. And that it's telling you how much it is going in there. Uh, it, outside of that, it is identical to the uh, Brista Express. It's, Express it's which basic. we have a video on that too right. on our channel. You can, you can do the comparison. So we yeah. have a video on this guy on its own. We have a video comparing this to the original one. Mm -hmm. You can watch that. It's still single on the steam one. So it's not a thermal jet. It, it's still the thermal block. So it's just one hole for And frying. that to me is the miss. Because on the upper models with Breville, they have right. this amazing milk system mm -hmm. that they did. They decided to stick with the original uh, steam one. Right. Now maybe in the future that'll change. But I don't know. it could but, be a too. But then you also think it gives you a lot longer to make a mistake. Fair so yeah. if you're just learning, uh, it's going to take you a lot longer on angle um, and, and stretching your milk, where the more powerful the wand is, you have to be exact almost within a few seconds. Okay. All right. So, cool. yeah. so that's, I mean, that's pretty much it, right? There are yeah. good drip trays, storage in behind here. Um, again, watch other videos for that. So why don't we make just a shot of each yeah. and uh, I'm going to go from there. So with this one, uh, it's a dose instead of a push. Yeah, let's do yours first. Yeah. So you can have put it back in. Thanks, Jack. Oh, yeah. Does it go in the sleep? I did not know that. There you go. Wow. It's almost telling you what it's doing. I'm dosing. And I will in a second. So you tamp that and show that, and then so I'll So now it's showing the tamp uh, arrow after the dose was flashing. So you're coming down here. And it's green. We have it dialed in. So with this one too, if you go over, 
it comes with a razor, so you don't have to waste your shot. So yeah, so if you go over the green, you can you can remove some of the mm -hmm. uh, some of the grounds. Goes so under, you hit it those has again. Little tool for that. If it's under, if it's the two white lines, you hit those again. It'll bring it up till it gets to the green, okay. which I think is the artificial intelligence jack, as I <laughs> like to call it. He's not buying it. He's not buying. He's not going to. Yeah, Elon buy it. Musk says things, and he's smart. And so I don't know. Robots are doing. To me, it's a robot, and they're doing it. You know. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so let's just do. Let's do the, yeah. the DeLonghi then. We'll see the difference. I guess it helps if we turn it on. Why did it go off? I don't know why it went off. But, Taking so. too long talking. That's what happened. About the same noise level on each, I would say. I think this one was a little bit louder. You think so? Yeah. Okay, so. Me Oh, yeah, Breville's louder, so DeLonghi sure. wins on the noise. So if you're, so a tamping, tamping handle here is, is a, feels, it feels as good. I mean, so this one's weighty, and it, yeah, it is metal. It. That one's plastic. This one feels plastic. very springy. Yeah, it's springy. Yeah. I think it does the job. Okay, let's take these out and have a look. Yep. All right. So even though this is polishing, hmm. it, um, it still has a little bit of muck on top. Yeah, so you've got a little muck. Mine yeah. actually seems like a better polish, although I have seen better polishes out of that. So maybe, so, I don't maybe know. pop it in and uh, do it one more time. Now, size of porter filter. Um, yeah, if you do it twice. Okay, there you, go. there you go. So one more press down. I'd say two or three pulls. I did three, I think. I think yeah. you did two. I, I don't know why. Two, yeah. um, so there you go. You're getting your. Now, it's size of the porter filter is 54 amazing. mil. 51. And 51 mil. Okay. Pressurized, non pressurized. So you got it. Okay, pressurized. Oh, but it now. comes with both. So. Okay. All right, so we're going to make, make ourselves shots. Maybe we do. Should we do them at the same time? We'll do them separately. So now we're going to make our shots. Um, let's do yours first, and we'll see what we get. Nice and warm. So this is programmed in. I had the double basket in, so I'm just going to, to hit the double shot, which you can override the programming on. Yeah, they're all pro programmable. Programmable. For liquid volume. <laughs> These are tiny little shot glasses, so let's hope we aimed them properly. There oh, we look go. Look at that. Well, would you look at that? Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh. It just, I mean, it does look like honey. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, well it's going to taste really good too. It's fresh beans. Oh, yeah. fresh beans roasted here? Yes. Roasted here at our store in Burlington. All right. There we go. All right, so I'm going to use, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use a little tray because mm -hmm. there's an advantage that we got here. Uh, we're going to espresso. Right. We're going to hit OK. We're already in. So let's see what we get out of this guy. Do -do -do. Might be a little too fine. And you've got more liquid volume in yours. Right. There you go. Your shot was dialed in at a higher liquid volume than mm -hmm. mine. But anyway. Yeah. It might have been set for... Um, yeah, it was probably programmed single. a little low. Yeah. Okay. But still. It should have been a bit longer, I would think. It smells amazing. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Yours will be better, I think. It's good. It's, it's nice. espresso. Yeah, it's nice. Um, I usually drink Americanos. I, I don't... Very often do a straight yeah. Up so I would want to I want to uh, up the volume in this. Yeah. Dial it in a little bit more. Especially if it's a double shot, that would it's going to yeah. be very yeah. syrupy. It's going to be wired for the rest of the day. Yeah, um, it's a little much, but. Um, so I think with well, overall, you can't go wrong with either one of these machines. Uh, it just depends on which one is more aesthetically appealing to you. Yeah. If you have the counter height, uh, and if you don't um, mind the lesser of the dialing in function. Dialing into this guy. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, really, uh, like I said. Slightly better warranty. Um, they originally came out with this design, so pops to, to DeLonghi for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, overall, both good machines. Some, yeah. some interesting features. Again, the hot water from Americano makes it nice and easy in the morning mm -hmm. um, on this machine. Right. Uh, but yeah, you've got two really good brands, really strong, both of which are investing in coffee the yeah. last three years. I mean, they've both really taken um, an investment in coffee. DeLonghi has some great super automatics as well at good price points. Press a button, grinds the beans for you, makes your coffee. Breville is not in that game yet. Um, although I think they got to be good. They got to be looking at it. Got to be close. Least. But uh, if you're Some looking, of your smaller machines um, already do the milk for you. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're, you mean overall, you're not going to go wrong with either one. I know what your preference is. Mm -hmm. My preference is neither one of them. Not that I don't like them, but I don't like using porta filters. I like pressing buttons, so I have a Jura. And that's just a personal preference. Yeah. Uh, but if I did, I would be happy with either one of these. Neil doesn't like to have to dial in them. I don't like to dial in. I'm too lazy, to be honest <laughs> with you. But that's that's a, it's a personal thing. So it depends what you want to do. I like but, the DeLonghi. You like the DeLonghi? Mm -hmm. Now, why does Jack like the DeLonghi? I like the look of it better. Yeah, Jack also doesn't drink coffee. <laughs> but if you want to learn how to dial in your DeLonghi, Jack, who's behind the camera, does actually have a great video for someone that doesn't drink coffee on how to dial in the DeLonghi for any machine. So you can mm -hmm. check that out on your channel as well, along with 
all kinds of other videos that we like to post about the great, great things that are happening here at ECS Coffee in Canada. Hope you're enjoying this video from wherever you are in the world. And uh, if you give us a like and subscribe, we'll give you more content. And you can pop by and see either one of us in the Burlington store or in Ancaster, Ontario, or buy online in Canada, and we'll ship it out to you. All right, if you come in, I'll make you a drink. Right. See you soon. Until next time, take care. Bye.